Micah requests me on Patreon to review El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, and I'm coming at this from a bit of a different perspective. I only ever watched the first episode of Breaking Bad, and while I thought it was good and intriguing setup, for whatever reason, I did not continue with it. I do admit to being curious about giving Better Call Saul a watch at some point. Creator Vince Gilligan said he made El Camino without trying to appeal to those who never seen the series. Nonetheless, I was able to get the general gist of it. The movie establishes Jesse Pinkman's situation pretty well in the beginning as he attempts to run away. It very much follows the classic man-on-the-run concept with some western influence thrown in for good measure. You understand his desperation at the start and his need to leave New Mexico as soon as possible. I got that he did some criminal activities during the show, including selling drugs with Walter White, but they still provide an element of sympathy. That creates some tension as he tries to evade the police and get the money needed to fund his trip to Alaska. A lot of the movie is carried by Aaron Paul, who portrays Jesse as some of a lot of regret for his past actions. However, he does not always make the right decision, and that adds to the curiosity of whether he can make it out of town. El Camino employs a flashback structure as we cut to earlier periods in his life that connect to his actions in the present day, and that was well done. With that said, the movie did also have the feel of a few episodes that have been stitched together as Jesse goes from one encounter to the next. There are likely moments and characters who would probably resonate with me more and get a bigger reaction if I'd seen more of the show. For example, there are a few characters who appear in bit roles who are clearly significant to Jesse's development in the show, but the movie expects you to already know who they are. Nonetheless, the individual scenes do work, and Gilligan certainly has a way with dialogue. One of the main villains, who we see only in flashbacks, is played by Jesse Plemons. He holds Jesse in a compound and lets him out to help perform a specific mission for him. Even though I did not know anything about his character, Plemons still left a memorable impression as he hides his nastiness under this fake, seemingly friendly persona. I think the best scene in El Camino is one where Jesse visits a vacuum cleaner store owner played by Robert Forster. They have a great back and forth between each other as Jesse tries to pay money to help him escape. It's a scene driven primarily from the dialogue and the acting and would have made a neat short film on its own. There is the necessary drama, but also a bit of humor as well. It's also an example of how high the stakes are for Jesse to leave town. Forster sadly died on the same day the movie was released, and this one scene shows what a good actor he was at playing these soft-spoken characters who have a lot hidden underneath the surface. I don't think the rest of the Camino reaches that same peak, although there's certainly some solid scenes after this. The central villain in the movie is the owner of a welding company. He was apparently introduced in this movie rather than being someone viewers were already familiar with in Breaking Bad. He's certainly a despicable figure that you grow to hate, and provides an obstacle for Jesse as he tries to make his escape. The production elements of El Camino are very well done, especially in the cinematography. Vince Gilligan and director of photography Marshall Adams make great use of the Albuquerque locations, with the deserts nobly standing out. Even though I've seen little of Breaking Bad, I understood the significance of the places Jesse goes to, which is a credit to how those locations are framed and his reactions to them. Apparently, they filmed the movie largely in secret, using various techniques to make sure onlookers would not put the pieces together when spotting the actors out and about. That's quite impressive. I'm positive I would react differently to El Camino as a whole were I to watch the television series. This is clearly meant to serve as a series finale, and if you watch any final episode as one of your few exposures to a television show, you are obviously going to have a different reaction than someone who has spent several hours with their favorite characters. Thankfully, I was still able to appreciate El Camino as a film and get invested in Jesse's story. There's certainly nuances I missed out on, but I did not find myself lost all that much, and I understood the relationships and characters. Now let me know in the comments what you think of El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie, and thank you for the request, Micah.